Hi, I'm Larry Devoskin. I am a student here at Jiva Mukti Yoga. I've been coming since the mid-90s. It's now the end of 2013. I discovered yoga very freeform on the island of Maui, Hawaii. Someone showed me a few asanas, a few sun salutes, and there was something in my soul that hungered to do more, be more, live a better life. When I used to live in the East Village, Jiva Mukti was on 2nd Avenue, and I walked by it for 10 years before taking a class. I have to tell you that, that God in the universe sometimes is a trickster, because my first class was the hardest beginner's class. They start easy on the first, and they're hardest at the end of the month. So I went the very end of the month, and I was in the back of a room sweating and covered in sweat, and it was, seemed impossible. I thought, how do these people do this? But I kept coming back. What's changed in my life, I feel that Jiva Mukti Yoga has made me a much better human being on every level. First of all, in health, I get less sick. I don't think I've had a flu shot in 10 years. I don't get sick. It's just made my body, my immune system stronger. As a person, it's made me more conscious of my fellow human beings and the animals and the planet itself and less self-motivated and selfish. I, I can just say I'm less selfish. I'm more interested in my fellow human being, in what I'm doing in the world each day, like a ripple that creates an effect, and how every action, every thought, every word that I have is a stone in the pond that ripples out. So I'm conscious of my diet. I'm conscious of how I interact with other people. I'm conscious of my intention when I go into work. Am I going in to get something or am I going in to give something? So I've been here for a long time. The other thing about Jiva Mukti that's amazing is that it's not just a place where people come, let's say for exercise or for asana, it's really a family. The people here really know each other, get to know each other, they go out, they have meals, they have parties, they visit each other around the world. It's really a soul family. You know, Bob Dylan said you have to go out in the world to find your true family, and I think that's true about Jiva Mukti. People from around the world have come to this center and the other centers in Berlin or Munich or London or every other place to find their true soul family. And I'm honored and proud to be here, and I come back. After 20 years, I consider myself still a beginner with a lot to learn. I want to tell you the early days of Jiva Mukti were really, you know, it reminded me of, of a great beginning of, you know, I think of the first cast of Saturday Night Live or uh, the beginning of Rolling Stone. There was a feeling in the air that was a tailwind. Just you knew something was happening. You went up to the second floor practice space. The changing room was just this corner with a curtain across it. And then you'd be in a classroom and forgive me for name dropping, but people who could go anywhere and pay any amount of money were coming to Jiva Mukti. So I might be in a room and look over and see Sting over here, or Ethan Hawke over there, or, or Donna Karen over here, and we were all equal when it comes to the mat. And I have to tell you, I used to, in the old days, take privates from David Life, and I would get in a room and he would immediately challenge me to go beyond where I thought I could go and do things that in my mind I thought I couldn't do. And what this gave me is a freedom to know that we're limited by our programming and through yoga we can break our programming. I've watched over the years how it's become not just a center, but really a, I would say a way of life, a philosophy, Jiva Mukti, because it's not just getting on the mat and jumping around for 90 minutes. It's the way we eat. It's the books we read. It's the people we associate with. It's the type of work we support and the type of work we don't support. So those early days were crucial, and some of the teachers that are here have become dear friends, and we, we celebrate holidays together. We go on trips together. It's really in the best of ways, a community that has the intention to disrupt, which is a great tech word, the world the way it's been and create a better world.